Welcome to Singing Time, boys and girls. Today we are talking about Nephi. Okay, now there's been a lot of Nephi so far. So let me tell you which Nephi this is. This is Nephi, son of Nephi, son of Helaman, son of Helaman, son of Alma, son of Alma. What? So confusing. Alma named his son Alma, you know, Alma the Elder and Alma the Younger. Then he had a son named Helaman who had a son named Helaman. Then he had a son named Nephi who had a son named Nephi. So you know Nephi that was on the garden tower that we talked about? This is his son, okay? That's who we're talking about. So let's sing a song about names, about the name that which we are called. What's that name? The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Let's start with that today, okay? <laughs> what the lesson this week it's Christmas it's the countdown to Christmas you guys Nephi lives in a time remember the that Samuel the Lamanite just came and he told the people he said Christ is coming he's going to be born to this earth soon he said soon right are you ready for this okay so how many years how many years did Samuel the Lamanite say needed to pass before Christ was going to be born on the earth. Does anyone know? Does anyone remember from last week's lesson? Five. Five years had to pass. So think about it. That would be the longest Christmas countdown ever. Five years, that's like 1,800 1, and something days. It's a really long time, five years. So we don't have to count down that long. But let's do the number five. Let's see what's in the number five, shall we? Number five. Ooh, don't want to make this knock over. <gasps> Number five. Oh, look, it says, tis the season on there. And on the back, it says, when he comes. <gasps> We're going to sing, I wonder when he comes again. Right? They're wondering, when is he going to be here? Sam and the Lamanite said five years. I'm going to hurry and read this to you, okay? They said, but behold, they did watch steadfastly. For that day and a night and a day, which should be as one day, as if there was no night, that they might know that their faith had not been in vain. So, right, that's the sign that Sam and the Lamanite gave them, that there would be a day and a night and a day without any nighttime. It would look like daytime for that whole time. So they are looking for that sign for when he comes. So we learned this song last year, but not very long. So I've got pictures for each of the phrases. Let me hurry and go through them with you. I wonder when he comes again, will herald angels sing? Will earth be white with drifted snow? Or will the world know spring? I wonder if one star will shine far brighter than the rest. Will daylight stay the whole night through? Will songbirds leave their nests? I'm sure he'll call his little ones to gather round his knee because he said in days gone by, suffered them to come to me. You guys ready to sing that with me? And I've got the pictures for you. I wonder when he comes again, will herald angels sing? I wonder when he comes again, will herald
second verse. And we actually did start to learn the second verse, but today we're just doing the first verse. Okay, so they're wondering, when is Christ going to come? They said soon. Guess what happens? The people who didn't believe, they decided, hey, we think it's been five years. We've been keeping track, and guess what? We haven't seen the sign. We think that all those people were lying to you. And so we're going to set aside a day that all the people who believe in Christ and who believe that he's going to come are going to be killed. Sad, huh? So they're really worried. Nephi is worried. He's very worried. It actually says that he cried mightily to the Lord, that he was very sad and scared. And he did. He prayed to the Lord and he said, what are we going to do? Uh, we can't let these people die. When, when is this going to happen? I know that it will happen. I know that, that it's true. But what are we supposed to do? Let me read to you what happens, okay? So, it came to pass that Nephi was exceedingly sorrowful. This is what happens. It came to pass he cried mightily unto the Lord all that day. And behold, the voice of the Lord came unto him, saying, Ready for this part? Lift up your head and be of good cheer. For behold, the time is at hand, and on this night shall the sign be given. Oh, man, I'm getting teary-eyed. And on the morrow come I into the world, to show unto the world that I will fulfill all which I have caused to be spoken by the mouth of my holy prophets. Can you imagine hearing that message? Can you imagine the voice of the Lord coming to you and he says, I'm coming. I'm coming tomorrow. I bet Nephi was so, so happy that that happened. Okay, so, right? Christ is born. What happens? They do. They have a day and a night and a day. And it seems like it's one day. At nighttime, it's just as bright as it was at noonday. But then the next day, they see the sunrise again. So they know that the prophecy was fulfilled. That Samuel the Lamanite was telling the truth that all the prophets that have ever prophesied and preached of Christ, we're telling the truth that Christ was on the earth. How exciting is that? And so many people believed and were converted because of the sign which was given. And then a new star appeared, right? A new star appeared. So we're going to sing a Christmas song. You guys okay with that? We learned uh, last year, picture a Christmas. So we're going to sing picture a Christmas. I've got a big board for you with all of the words. So if you don't know this song, that is absolutely okay. Oh, see, picture a Christmas in Judea. Picture a stable in Judea. Actually, let's sing through it twice for those that maybe don't know the song. We'll sing through it two times, okay? September. Oh, look, I even have little ornament earrings. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so what happens now? So Christ is on the earth, right? But these people, they're in the Americas. And Christ, where's he at? 
right? He's on the other side of the world. So they get the sign that he was born and now they have to wait again. Oh, another countdown of this one? Instead of being five years, it's like 32 years. Whew, that's a long time. You know what? I forgot to open a door for that song. I was going to use number 13 because that's the verse that talks about Christ coming. See, and it has a little picture. <gasps> picture of Christmas. And actually, yeah, I read that one to you. That's when it says, lift up your heart and be of good cheer for I come into the world tomorrow. Your little picture of a picture of Christmas. Okay, so then what happens? At this time in the scriptures, the Gadiant and robbers are still wreaking havoc. They are just being naughty and they are hurting people and they are killing people and people are leaving the church and going to join them and they're doing whatever they can to get riches and money and power. Okay, and so the Nephites are not loving that. Neither are the Lamanites. And so they are, they join together and they're going against the Gadiant robbers. And guess what? Nephi calls everyone together. He says, everyone gather yourselves together because he receives this letter from the chief of the Gadiant robbers. His name is Gideonhi. Pretty cool name, right? But he's not a very nice guy. And he writes a letter to Laconius, who is the chief judge. And he says, Laconius, hey, dude, we're going to come wipe you guys out unless you give us your land. But you're really cool and you're really powerful, but we're going to kill you. What? So Laconius is like, uh-uh, not going to happen. I'm going to protect my people. So Laconius gathers everyone together. He sends out a proclamation to the land. He says, let's all gather together so that we're strong. And they gather everything, their herds and their flocks and their grain and their food and their protection and their safety. And they gather together and they surround themselves with horses. They have enough to last for at least seven years. That's pretty awesome. Problem with the Gadian robbers? Now they have no food. Usually they go in and steal things from people. They steal flocks or they steal grain or they steal. But now that they've collected all together and they've protected themselves, Gadiant robbers are starting to get hungry. And so they realize the only way to get food is to attack the Nephites. But guess what Nephi has his people do? I'll give you a hint. He has his people pray. He has them pray for protection from the Gadiant robbers. Do you guys think that it's just as important to have spiritual protection as it is to have physical protection? Because they did. They had their guards around them. They had all the food they needed. They were prepared physically for this war. So why do you think Nephi had him prepare spiritually? He knew he needed the Lord on his side, right? He did. And so guess what? When the Gadiant robbers come, big army of them come up against the Nephites, all of them kneel. They all go to the ground and they kneel and they pray to Heavenly Father. Guess what the Gadiant robbers think? The Gadiant robbers think that they all fell to the ground because they were scared. They were like, woohoo, we're going to get in there and we're going to take all their stuff. This is going to be so easy. They all fell to the ground. What do you think they thought when they heard them say amen? <laughs> they were just praying. And the Lord protected them. And the Gadiant robbers did not get them. They were able to protect themselves. And they actually were able to rid themselves of the Gadiant robbers. They took some prisoner and some were converted to the Lord. And some stayed in prison and some were killed. And so they rid the land of the Gadiant robbers. And they had peace for six whole years. Isn't that awesome? Later they choose, you know, to not have peace anymore. But that's for a later time. So we are going to sing another song about what just happened, what I just told you. What did they do again? They prayed, right? So let's see, number 19. Because guess what? Do you want to know why I'm picking number 19 for this one? After the sign was given that Christ was born, they completely changed their calendars. That sign was such a big deal that they decided that they needed to change how they even thought of time. So starting from when they saw the sign, they restarted their calendar and it was the year one, the year two, three, four, five. Okay, going on and on. So all this stuff that happened with the Gadiat and robbers, it took 19 years to get to this point. So from the time the sign was given, the day and night and day when it was bright, 19 years later is when they had this battle with Gideon High. Crazy, huh? So 19 
says, oh, look, it says making spirits bright. <gasps> this one says, did you think to pray? Right? Because prayer is protection, right? Protection for us, spiritual protection. Let's do it. figured out though. Okay. So then six years of peace. Awesome. Then they decide to be naughty again. They decide to start with the secret oaths and the robbing and the murdering and the plundering and all of that all over again. And so things get really wicked. And from that time forward, the rest of the, the lesson this week is from the year 19 all the way to the year 32, which is their countdown, right? This is their countdown to when Christ comes to them. His first coming, right? So this lesson this week can help teach us the things that we need to look for in preparation for Christ's second coming, right? Because that is coming. And we know that from the prophets, from the signs that we've been given, from many different things. We know that Christ is going to come to the earth again and it's going to be a wonderful day. And we need to be ready. We need to be ready physically and we need to be ready spiritually. So let's sing to end. Let's sing I Wonder When He Comes Again one more time to finish us up, okay? I accidentally dropped the papers for that song, so I'm going to grab them really quick and make sure I have them in the right order for you. Yep, that one, and then that one, and then that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go, okay. When he comes again, you ready? help us remember what we need to do to be ready for him to come the second time. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again next week.